Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architects How To. My name is Robert. In this How To, we will be discussing how to create an XML file out of Excel 2007. To give you a little background, in a previous video, we showed you how to create a simple one out of Excel 2007. We downloaded and installed a XML tools add-in and then created a simple XML file. This time we'll be creating a much larger XML file, which won't be possible with the previous method. So we will be using the same add-ins, but we'll be doing things a little bit different. So let's go to the demo. So here's Excel. So we'll go ahead and open our new file, Excel Dates. And this time you'll notice it's much larger than it previously was. It starts in the year 2000, and if we go to the bottom, you'll see it goes out for 30 years. So similarly to last time, we'll go to the Add-ins tab, go to XML Tools, and we'll go ahead and create a range, convert a range. We only need to select a few rows this time, but make sure you have your headers. And yes, the first row has headers, and so we'll go ahead and hit OK. And we'll tell it to use existing formats, and there we go. Now if we want, we can go ahead and export this to see the XML. So we'll call it test and we can go look at that. And there we go. You'll see our three rows we selected, each of them with the appropriate headers. So now what we need to do is go back to the add-ins and we need to create an XSD file to hold the XML schema. There we go, that's easily created. Now we'll go ahead and save this. And there we go. Now what we need to do is we need to close out of the current file we're using without saving it and reopen that. Now you'll see all the formatting is gone, which means we don't have anything mapped right now. So we'll go over to the Developer tab and click on Source. We'll pop open this window over here, and then we'll click on XML Maps, and we need to go find that file we just created. There we go. Called Schema. Bring that in, and hit OK. And now you can see all our headers on the right-hand side. So now it's just an easy matter of just dragging across those headers to the appropriate header. So you'll see Excel date, Excel date. We'll tell it to use existing formats. We'll do the same thing for each of them. This time we need to tell it to match element data type and it'll go back to the year 2000. Same thing with the month, the day, bring in some of our OBI date formats. And there we go. So now we've mapped each of those to the file and so we should be able to just export it. So we'll go over to the developer tab one more time and click export. Call this one final and hit export. Our export is now complete, so we'll go ahead and check out that file. Now you can see we have many more rows in here. We'll scroll down to the bottom. And as we scroll through it, you're able to see 
all the years go by. There we go, December 31st, 2029. So in this how-to, we showed you how to create a much larger XML file out of Excel 2007. Thank you for joining, and please visit the Performance Architects how-to channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions.